Welcome back to the channel and today I have a beginner's tutorial on texture painting in Blender 4.0. Now in this tutorial we're going to start off with real quick modeling a mushroom. Don't worry, it's literally the easiest part of the whole tutorial. It's really simple. Then we're just going to quickly UV unwrap it and then we're going to focus on painting it just as you see here. So this is the final result you can see here from the tutorial. I'm already recording the intro towards the end. This is what you'll be seeing how to make step by step. And if you're a beginner, I hope you enjoy this and that you're able to learn about texture painting in a blender. So let's jump in. So like I said, this is definitely about texture painting, but so you guys can follow along, it's important that we make a quick little asset. And it's gonna take a minute or two. So you can see here in our default scene, um, let's just get rid of the cube. Don't mind this little mushroom here. It's just one I quickly modeled just as an example as we're following along. So let's go Shift A and let's just go to our mesh options, add in a cylinder and I know this doesn't look like a mushroom yet we're going to go to our add modifiers we're going to go search and just type in screw and get a screw um, modifier here then we're just going to go into edit mode whoops I meant to go into edit mode there we go and then let's just go to our top orthographic view so you can see here we're in a top orthographic view I just pressed 7 on my number pad to do that and we're just going to go to our vertex select option and just press Z and go into wireframe and then on your left here, just from the top view, select these verts here. So these ones here to the very left. And then go Control i or Command-I to inverse the selection. And then press Delete. And then delete those verts. So now we only have this, and that's being spun around with the screw modifier. So if we go into our front orthographic view, with all of this active, we're in edit mode. We're just going to go G and X and move it in and then G and move it up till it's sitting on the ground like so and then let's grab this top vertex and bring it down like so and let's just go E to extrude and then E to extrude E to extrude let's just go up and let's go up to about here just extruding a few times and now we have the kind of like base of our mushroom and then with this vertex here still selected as you can see we're gonna go shift D to duplicate that just move it in then E to extrude and let's just extrude that down. So we're going to go E to extrude again, E to extrude and let's come out a little bit to about here. And then E to extrude up and then E to extrude up a little bit. And now we're just going to go E to extrude and we're just going to extrude a few times coming in making the top shape of our mushroom. All I'm doing is pressing E as I'm doing this. E to extrude again and let's just bring it together here in the middle like so bring it as close as you can there we go and now let's uh, tab out and we're back in object mode let's just go to our screw modifier and go ahead and apply it and now let's go back into edit mode and we should be able to just go to our top view just select these verts in the middle press F3 and type in merge and go merge at center and now we can make this mushroom look even cooler by in edit mode going to our vertex select option Let's come to the drop down here and make sure connected only is enabled. And then in wireframe, let's just grab the top head and rotate it a little bit with proportional editing like so. And you can grab parts of the mushroom and kind of lift it, um, sag it down a little bit in some places. Just make it look a little bit more organic, a little bit more dynamic. Something like this, and I'm gonna tab back out. And I'll just delete my previous mushroom so we don't need that anymore. So now we have a nice looking mushroom and we're gonna go ahead and we're now gonna UV unwrap this so we can um, do our texture painting. So let's quickly go to our UV editing workspace with the mushroom selected. Let's go to our edge select option and we wanna um, unwrap the top part here. So we need to add a seam running in the, uh, the middle of the mushroom head here. So let's go shift alt and left click on one of these straight edges in the sides. And it's gonna make a loop going all the way around. And we're gonna go control E or command E and click on mark seam. And then let's grab this thing over here, the base of the mushroom and go shift alt, left click on one of these straight up edges. It's gonna select the whole thing and we're gonna go control E and go mark seam. Now just press A to select all of this and press U on your keyboard and then click on unwrap. And now you can see over here on this side, we can come and move things around if we want to but overall it's uh, unwrapped it pretty well. So long as nothing is overlapping. So now we have it unwrapped. In fact, um, just right out of the box, it's done a pretty good job. So now we have a model ready to go. So let's go back to our 
layout for now. And what we want to do is we want to come here to our materials properties. We want to click on new. And at the moment, this just has a base color, which you may be familiar with, but we want to plug in an image texture. So let's go to our texture paint window over here. Let's click on new up here and we'll just leave it at the default, but we'll come down to the generate type and make it a color grid and then click OK. Let's come here and name it texture. Then go to image, save as, go to your desktop and then just save it as a PNG. Now to visualize this, just go to your material properties. Go to this material we created and just go to the base color here, click on this tab. Go to image texture and then come to the drop down and click on our texture that we've created. And now you should be able to see it displayed over here. And we can see how things are unwrapped. Now we're going to get into the fun part where we're going to come here and paint this and make it look really cool. So you can see over here on the side, there's going to be a tools panel. If you can't see it, make sure to press T on your keyboard so it pops up. And we're going to come here to the top and get the draw brush, which should be selected by default. Up here, you can see the radius. We can change the size of the brush. And over here is the strength. So the strength, we're going to leave it one. And the radius, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to go something around 50. And over here, you can see the palette. So you can click here and then change the color. So if we change this to like a nice kind of red and bring down the value a little bit. We can come over here to the mushroom and we can start painting. But in this case, something interesting has happened. It's only painted at the bottom, right? And when this happens, it's because our normals are facing the wrong direction somewhere, which is common with the kind of modeling method we used here. So let's just quickly go over here, pop into edit mode. And if we come here to the top and just scroll with our mouse wheel, we can come all the way here to edit mesh mode. And we can come down to the normals and enable the normals. And we can see that the normals over here are facing inwards. So make sure everything is active by pressing A and press Alt N and recalculate the outside. Now let's go scroll back over here to the side, go back in to texture paint. And now if we come here and paint, we're going to see that is now correct. So as we go to our top view, we can start painting with this red all the way around here. And it's very satisfying to do this actually. I'm gonna come here and just paint like that. And now we can see our top here is updating here on this side. So now what we can do as well is we can come and grab maybe like a bit of a kind of brownish color, maybe a little bit of a creamy brown like this. And we can now come here and paint at the bottom. But another cool thing we could actually do is come here to the texture itself and paint on the actual texture where we can see the outline of this UV layout here. And now it's much easier to do that. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. In fact, I'm going to press F to grow my brush over here and just gently paint like this, going all the way around like that, as you can see. And then let's come here and change the value. Let's bring it down a little bit. And then over here, we're going to go F to grow the brush. And let's just click in the middle a few times, grow our brush. And now let's just make it a bit darker. And then let's bring the value down even a little bit more. And we have a smaller brush. Let's just darken that in the inside here. Now we've got this kind of nice gradient in the inside. And if it's not looking too good out here, all we have to do is click over here. Let's just get our little eyedropper. Let's select our red color again. We can see here that there is still some sections and ends that we missed. So we can actually come in here and paint it like so. Now that we have that color, or we can actually come here and come to our texture and just paint on the outside to kind of get those bits that we missed previously. So there's a lot of different ways you can approach this, but I think a combination of the two is always going to be your best bet when it comes to painting in a blender. So kind of going between the different um, painting modes. So painting over here in this window and then painting here directly onto the texture with the UV layouts like that. So now we've got something like this, but it's got a little bit of a hard edge. So you could always come here to your brush and get the soften brush and grow it a little bit and then kind of just blend the textures, the two colors together here on a texture like this towards the ends. And I think that looks kind of nice. So you can go all the way around, blending it all in 
working our way around and already can see that edge is looking a lot better. So let's go back to our draw brush. Let's come here to our color. Let's get our color picker. Let's just select the base mushroom color over here. And then let's just come here and paint directly onto our base. So I don't know if you can see the layout here, but the UV coordinates of the base here, I can see it. So I'm just gonna paint on it. And over here you can see it's updating. So I'm just gonna come over here and just paint where I can see it. like so. And now we can see it's painted nicely. So now we can come and do the same thing we did before. Let's bring the value down a little bit. And over here, we're gonna grow our brush. Let's just come over here and paint it a little bit darker at the top, just to kind of add this nice gradient that runs down like so to our mushroom. And now to make this look even a little bit cooler, let's come here and make it kind of like a lighter kind of color. Not quite white, but like a light color. Let's press F and just shrink our brush. And now we're gonna come here to the top and we're just gonna make some random dots. Okay, so I'm gonna make a few small ones like this and then I'm gonna go F to grow the brush a little. And then I'm just gonna click around and make some bigger ones. And then grow the brush a little bit more. And then add some random big ones like this. Just building different layers of detail to our mushroom top here. So I'm just going all the way around, maybe a few more here at the top. Maybe some ones down here. As you can see, uh, just adding these nice little extra details to our mushroom. So that looks pretty good. So you wanna now make sure you come here to image and then go save. And now wherever you've saved this to, for me it was on my desktop, this texture, it's now saved this um, painting information here, um, the texture. So now we have a mushroom that we've texture painted. And this was just a very basic beginner's introduction to texture painting in Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you did, um, check out some of my other content. And I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.